welcome back and we're with Undulling Blade today and uh, what we're going to be doing is taking a quick look at this Ellie Luciola. So I take it it's Last XR inspired? Yes. And it looks like a strange van ship carrier <laughs> of some kind. I take it you said this is from... tell me all about it mate, you go ahead. Okay. So this was not from the Exile, this was just my favorite features from most of the ships in the Exile, all in a conglomerate. And inspired it, by. Yeah, inspired by. And so I could go on and tell you like, engines of the Urbanus, and, but since last time you said you didn't know the names of the, all of the ships, it would well, really be know, helpful. Well, you know, for the purposes of people that aren't familiar with the particular lore that you're referring Probably. to, I think it would be a good idea to uh, be more descriptive than just making lots of references to, you know? Yes. So be gentle. So, yeah. Um, on this ship, it has six turrets and three uh, directional turrets. Yep. Uh, basically, they're turrets on docking ports. Yep. The ones that are designed to fire upward, but they don't, uh, are <laughs> supposed to, in the original anime, I think it was only on one of the ships, mm. but I have two of them, so, <laughs> yay. And, currently, seeing as the main viewer base isn't going to know, like, the references, I don't know what to point out about the outside. <coughs> uh, there's no official, not official, but there's no hangar. There's only the um, platforms. I just got pulserated across the. I didn't see it, so there's obviously someone trying to cause trouble. Just carry on like. It was now. Lego. So, the the dock on top of it is there. Are eight, yeah, eight spots to put van ships which are the fighters in the anime. Um, I have a kind of funky Kamare. I never quite got it how I wanted that. And a lot of the ship is shields and missiles array. Yeah. yeah. Well, it looks pretty sweet. Like I say, it's van ship inspired, I guess, you know? <laughs> it's like yeah. a giant van ship carrier. Yeah, so... <laughs> Cool. I guess the door behind that from the what the how they explained it in the anime is that they have two types of engines. The one that they normally put on large ships like this yeah. and the one that I have. And the only reason you use the one that I have on a ship like this is if you don't want the guild, which is the opposing force in the first anime, mm -hmm. turn off your ship if you start attacking them. Yeah. Because they don't have control over van ship engines. Yeah. So with that, should we go look at the bridge? Or and core room? Or yeah, I don't I'm remember how much now. of the. Okay, so the bridge has two layers. Yeah. I there's a I'm bit of a design flaw. Right now. I can't get to the second layer <laughs> because I forgot. Um, I can. I just have to come down to here. And then press this and go all the way up to the. Yeah, that's fine, whatever there. the system is, man. It's rather inconvenient. So, the second layer was originally going to be a weapons control. So, I have a couple weapons computers and ocular ish things. Yeah. But those were meant to be up here. And then on the first layer of the bridge was inspired directly from the first anime. It, it has several doors into it. And oh, yeah, nice. yeah, so I have Alex yeah. Rose chair, yeah. which you can't actually see anything with. And the map storage and all that fancy stuff. And then I personally really like the engineering room on this. It's really small, but it I thought it fit the anime. So I just have dorms in those rooms there. And then here is the engineering and core room. Nice. It opens up, but... 
And so this image here, I modeled it after one of the scenes in the anime. I think in a couple scenes they play chess in this room, so I yeah, should have put a chess board. And the thing in this was supposed to look like consoles, like it's just something I thought might work. So the core and the faction module are supposed to look like they're on a computer tower, even though they have no computers. Yeah. Didn't quite think that through. No, and cause... same with the gravity. Yeah. And then I have a rather dark kitchen here. Interesting. Never got the lighting right. The, to the, yeah, it works though. Then uh, opposite of that room, I have the storage room. Nice. So... Yeah, um, like I said, I don't really know what to point out on the exterior. No, that's fine. So... You see a couple of little bits and pieces, you got some nice detail on the actual engines, that's nice. Obviously, you make it this big, you've got a lot more room for scale and detail. Yeah, but, yeah, um, definitely. The plates on the side are nice, and that hugs you know, protects your little turrets here, which is cool. I like the uh, sort of scaffold style on where it joins to the main hall. The engines, are, not the engines, the uh, weapons array at the front look pretty cool. Just, you know, oh, I can it. give those a fire. If... Yeah, definitely you should. Uh, go for it has nothing in front a of you right lot. now, so go for it. <clears throat> I gotta say, it has a lot of. Um... Forget the turrets, just fire each weapon in turn. That's all you gotta do. Okay, let me just. Weapons. That doesn't seem right. Looks like I have one extra missile computer. So I have that bank of the one thousand. That's twenty eight in a stack. Yeah. Next. Then I have um, that would be the one that just bugged. Then I have another bank. These three bank or these four banks are the same. And then I have the long guns from. Yep. The Fire Sylvius out. in the second series. Those are the lock on. I just locked on the asteroids that I can see. And then I have the AMC. Nice. And how long is that a perma fire or is it too powerful? Yeah, it's perma fire and light wall in fire. Except it doesn't accelerate quite as fast as I wanted it to. Yeah. Oh well, can't have it all. So, what's the name of yeah, the ship again, buddy? Yeah, L.E. Luciola. L.E. is for Last Exile. The L.E. Luciola. Alright, awesome. And you are Undulling Blade. So thank you for bringing that ship into the lineup review for us. And if you could just fly off and leave the sector now, that'd be great. Okay, so thank you. And I will see you soon.